you did. Uh, I, I find that fascinating. And I like those kind of stories because it's inspirational. I don't like to go off and say that's the reason for accepting Islam, but uh, that's part of the miracles that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has uh, bestowed upon you. Um, that's great. So tell us a little bit about what, what your plans are in the future, what you're involved in now, um, and then we'll get into some advice you might want to give to somebody from the Aboriginal community or people watching in general. So just tell us uh, about what your future goals are right now. My main future goals is just to um, work hopefully within my community, study Dawah through my community. I hope, in, inshallah, that I'll be able to uh, have my own soup kitchen downtown where I can have like an internet place where they can come surf the, surf the internet without the pressure of religion. Mm -hmm. But they can come surf the internet, they can have something hot to eat, mm -hmm. and they will be able to, um, when they want to, learn about Islam. Mm -hmm. You know, see that there are people out there that are Aboriginal that are changing their lives and that are doing better. Like, most people don't realize that this is, you know, I don't know any Aboriginals, not very many that, that are, are Muslim. I haven't met one yet. You know, but I remember just meeting someone a couple of weeks ago, asking me if I wanted a Mickey. I go, no, I'm Muslim. She says, oh, but you're Aboriginal. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what we do, we drink. Mm -hmm. And to show to people that there's, there's, there's hope out there. So in the future, I, I just hope to, you know, have a good life with my family, continue to learn about Islam, because that's the key to, key to being a, a, a good Muslim, is constantly learning. You know, I was talking to a scholar 19 years and he said he's still learning stuff every day. Mm -hmm. You know, alhamdulillah, that's just what I hope to do. And hopefully my son, you know, he's really fast learning about Islam. Now, this is something that you're going to address to the audience. So this is the time to look into the camera. Um, imagine that you're speaking to everybody who's actually watching the show today or watching it on the internet or wherever they're watching. What advice can you give them if they're searching for their path or they're curious about religion or Islam? What's the advice you can best give them that could probably inspire them to seek the path that you've, that you've sought yourself? I can mainly speak to people who have gone through hard lives, alcoholism, drugs. You can be white, black, Spanish, Chinese, Aboriginal. The thing you have to realize is that when, you, when you're an alcoholic and you have all these problems, that there is light at the end of the tunnel. I thought for many years that there would be no light at the end of the tunnel. I thought, this is my life, this is how I'm going to live, this is the way an alcoholic lives. You get up, you drink, you go, you know, go back to sleep, you drink, you go back, you wake up. It's just, they, a person does not have to live that way. They do not have to suffer. In so many words, society, un unfortunately, for especially for Aboriginals, assumes that we're just going to be all alcoholics and drug addicts, and that's the life we have. And if you are interested in learning about religion or about Islam, I encourage you to, for one, go to our website, pfree.ca. You know, Google it, look up what Islam is, get a Quran, sit and read the Quran. Just don't sit and look at it and flip through the pages. Actually, do what I did. Read the Quran with your heart, with your mind, you know? You may not believe in, if you do not believe in a God, just say, God, I want to learn, help me learn. The best thing you can do is to realize that any person or anybody is capable of change, no matter what people say about you. I've been told, you're an alcoholic, you're never going to change. It's impossible for you to change. And alhamdulillah, this, that's not the way, way, way. so... And even people that work with these people, people that are Muslims and they're working within the community doing dawah, maybe handing out sandwiches, sandwiches to, to the poor or to the alcoholic or drug addicts on the street, sit and tell them about the meaning. I'm sure if someone sat down and told them about the meaning of what our life is about and what Islam is about, alhamdulillah, these people would see that there is light at the end of the tunnel that living on the streets, being where they are, can change. It can really do change. I never thought it was. 20 years of drinking, living on the streets, several, several, several foster homes, over, over 50 foster homes. Being in jail, being a drug addict, being at my lowest as an alcoholic, at one time drinking two, two fours a day, to now. 
I don't even realize that sometimes it's been eight months. Because Alhamdulillah, Allah has provided this for me and it's a blessing in all ways. But it can be a blessing to anybody who really wants to learn about the religion. But you have to take it from the heart and from the mind. And if you seriously do, Allah will show you the way. Well, may Allah subhanahu wa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you for the, for the story, Dawood, and taking the time to share that with everybody. Um, I, I've known you now for the full eight months. Alhamdulillah, you accepted Alhamdulillah. Islam. Um, I just look at myself as uh, the one fortunate enough to be put in your path. Uh, it's been a great pleasure, and, and I wish you all the best, and I hope that Allah blesses you and your, your new family, and I hope that so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides you. your mother and, and father and the rest of your family to Islam. And the people watching this, I hope uh, you've heard something that hopefully inspires you to, to look into Islam a little bit more, and if not, at least respect that it's um, creating results not only in the Arab, Aboriginal community but throughout the world. And uh, thanks very much for, for being on the show. And, Thank you for uh, me. Thanks for watching. And until next week, um, tune in all across Canada, Paradise Forever TV. I'm your host, Muhammad Robert Heff. Thanks for tuning in. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين